the end of chapter five, I previewed that things were gonna change. So what am I doing inside a plastic tent with a propane torch? Stay tuned, find out. It's incredibly windy and incredibly rainy up in Masset right now. This awning won't do. Let's get this thing inside. We're gonna have to loop it around a little bit. We need about six feet of raw chain that's reasonably strong. Not like a what is door going on chain. here? With fall moving in, decided that Curtis had a day off and he needed something to do. So the plan is to try and winch this bad boy up inside for the winter if we can really get to work on it. But there's a series of homebrew situations that need to be addressed. Ramps, chains, put some tires back on and we'll see how it goes. As you've been reminded of several times before, this is not a safety video. What could possibly go wrong? Well, whatever, whatever that is, it's gonna. So you know. For purposes of safety, I'm going to grind some notches in this thing just to sort of spread that weight out so it's not all sitting on one point. Right, Brother Kurt? Well, steel on steel is going to naturally want to slide away around. So let's find where we need. Up there. Up there. Somewhere. You want, a, you want a pen for that? No. Good guesswork. Big, too tight. Stability is what's important. Well, just to give it a, just to give it a little something to take No going back now.
We got us a win today. El Jeppo is gonna stay dry through the winter. Yes, we said we're gonna edit the fuck ups out just in edit. case you guys are wondering why this looks so seamless. It'll be it'll be seamless. <laughs> I mean, it'll go right all right the first when time. I say seamless, I so mean. this is a uh, portable retractable uh, sanding booth. Custom. It's being being constructed. Half of the core blast is coming with it. Just tape up there and just cut it. Cut the plastic. Fiery night in Bayreuth. Fiery night. Or fire control. All right. The booth is 50% complete. No. Oh, oh. I got right here. Just that. Got the uh, half complete uh, sanding booth, but by the time it's fully complete, it's going to be very difficult to climb around inside and start polying this off. So I'm going to start taping off the engine. So it's probably going to take a fair bit of time because I want to think about it from the idea, from the standpoint that it's going to stay on. It's going to do a uh, row of uh, um, two inch uh, blue painters tape all the way around and then start applying the poly with another row of tape on top of that. So this will probably take a fair bit of time. Probably be a lot of fast motion cuts and edits. Should be very exciting. Come help me out, honestly. <clears throat> Just throw back a bit of Joe, and dart, and get on it. Okay, so that's the first row of tape for the sanding process. 
Um, when it comes to painting, obviously once we get stuff sanded off, there's gonna be a lot more masking for painting. Now we'll get some poly on and uh, then we should be good to start sanding. Still gotta try and figure out how to get these fenders off. They're a mess. I uh, decided to go with six mil poly on this. I was gonna do two, but I decided to go with six. The nice thing about this, uh, the Wrangler, I have done a lot of polying in my time and what I used to do. Nice thing is it's got a nice long straight line across the back, but these two supports are gonna do a great job of kind of creating an arch. Um, the jack stand over here, I, I noticed is got some sharp edges. It's only three 10 mil bolts, so I'm gonna yank it out real quick. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll tape it across the back, bring it across here, tape it across the front. I've got an approximate size. I, I cut this to four by eight. Um, this is over three and this is over six. So uh, I'll get the, the jack stand off and then we'll get this guy in poly. What I'm doing in tough spots like this, I pull off a small piece and I'll make kind of a U shape, like a little canoe out of it. And then I can go down, press against one side, and press against the other side. I'm sure there are better ways of doing this. And I'm always open to suggestions. Okay, so the sanding booth is almost complete. Uh, we've got all four walls. I've got uh, two of the edges that are taped down. Oh, let's take a tour, okay? So, the edge is taped all the way. This one here I am gonna turn into an opening around the other side there. Well, let's do this. Around the other side. This is secured all the way down. My television is a little bit of a situation there. All the way across. Down the side of the Jeep. This is another entrance. I got my little arrow there, right? I need to put some air filtration in. So I got a furnace filter that I'm gonna mount up top there for air to come in. And then I'm gonna install a little duct fan for air to go out. So, we're almost there. It's almost time to sand.
there's an airflow direction. We gotta make sure that we have air flowing in because this is where we wanna pull air filtered into the, uh, uh, to the system. So this guy goes up here, hopefully. done some reading turns out I should probably have a pleated one so I'm gonna use that as a pre filter because the dirty side is gonna be on that side and then I'm gonna put a pleated filter in as well it's a Murph this should be easier because it should go okay so exhaust air there's my plan <coughs> this little four inch inline fan, Suncourt Incorporated Inductor Inline Fan Airflow. I'm gonna attach that at the opening, goes outside. Fortunately, we have a outlet right up there so I can plug right in. Then to the dryer hose, other end of the dryer hose, which is gonna be hung to the ceiling with this. I'm going to attach to this guy, which is what's going to stay mounted, so I can quickly disconnect and disconnect. Now, air is intended to run this way, so it's got a flap here. So I'm going to rip that flap out because I don't want to block the air from coming through. Um, I might, in fact, just take this entire thing off so that only this is what's there, and I can quickly connect and disconnect. So, let's get on it. First thing first, let's mount a fan. working. Next, venting. For the now fifth time, I think we are ready to sand. Dashboard is masked. Just gotta tape that, and then we'll be ready to sand. Which means we're not quite ready still. But it's feeling like it's coming around the corner. So that's it. We got her inside. We got her tented. We really kick things into gear. Hopefully, in a couple of months, we'll have a finished product going out the other side. Mechanically, we're still waiting on a lot of parts. It's a little bit slow right now. It's pretty stormy up here, so a couple of the ferries have been canceled. So we're still waiting on gas tank. We're waiting on a starter. We're waiting on the shackles and the bushings. What else are we waiting on? I don't know. Fair bit. Anyway, so 150 bucks in material. Uh, just roll a poly, bunch of tape, a couple of filters, uh, a little venting, uh, the other stuff. It's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the fan on as cost because that's I mean that's that's a, a capex item, so to speak. Uh, it'll stick around after the the job is done. So update on cost. I'm gonna throw $150. So $150 added to what we had before gives us our new total. Or maybe I'll put it up here. Whatever. And that's where we're at as of the end of chapter six. A bunch of other parts are still on their way in, which have already been added into this total.
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on Chapter 7.